know when you when you discover something that you really like to eat and then the chef goes tries to make it better and ends up messing it up like i love the lentil soup from the usual place now here he goes put cilantro in it you know i can't stand so tristan there's very few people that have that condition with cilantro it tastes like soap right for you it, not soap, it just doesn't taste good. It j just, it doesn't taste good. I like cilantro, but... Now, you're the cook in your house. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself, like, when... By the way, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Do you ever find that um, when you cook something that Margot really loves, like the crowd goes wild, mm -hmm. that the next time you make it, you try to put some more, you know... Well, this weekend I made, uh, on New Year's Day, I made beef stew. Beef stew? But I forgot... You are like white. Two of the ingredients. What you forget the beef? No, the uh, diced tomatoes and the rosemary. I was about to say <laughs> the tomatoes, potatoes. But it was very oh. good. So, so she liked it. But now she's saying, "Well, the next time I make it, maybe I should just keep the original this, recipe. Make the same mistake." Oh, she did. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean the white thing. I just meant <laughs> like you know, look in black households. This is how you grow up. At least black America. Okay, at least when I was growing up. Yeah, we go through this every year. Black eyed peas on New Year's Day. And black eyed peas are for the health. You have some collard greens. Collard greens keep the money straight, the green. And then everything else is just kind of, you know, you know, a, a mishmash of soul food, though. It's it's soul food day, you know? And so for us, we had, um, we had collard greens and... Black eyed peas. That's what we had. And I season... Hot sauce? Uh, why? You smell hot sauce? Mm -mm. Oh, because I put some in my lentil soup to try to bury the taste of the soap. I want to talk to the chef about this, but I'm scared that in replacement for the cilantro, it'll be a gob of spit. <laughs> so you don't complain. Mmm. The show's been over for about a half hour. I've already had two meetings and washed all my makeup off. I have mystery clothes on. I just want to be decent for you, so I put a robe on over it. <laughs> but I have all my street clothes. I'm ready to hit the streets. It's cold and raining. I have to do it, though. <laughs> I have to go to two different grocery stores. Um, the drugstore. What'd you get for Christmas? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't want anything. My my husband um, is good to me. He'll come home with a gift just Randomly. because it's yeah Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I like that, and I do the same for him, and we do the same for our kid. So no. Hmm. Reading, he, he didn't get anything either. Say something. <laughs> Christmas is not about gifts. The only one who got a gift was the dog. We bought him a new basketball. <laughs> the boy wanted to go to the grocery store and get him a, you know, treat him to a steak. <laughs> I said, no, you don't go and treat a dog to a steak. What you do is you keep in contact with the butcher and then the butcher knows, you know, if, like if you have a big dog. I remember we used to do this with our shepherds when I was growing up in Jersey. The butchers were always really good about, you know, you know, saving that bone or something like that. Anyway, <clears throat> no, we didn't do any of that stuff. I can tell you this right now. I am still choking. This dress today was so fantastic. I loved it. Balenciaga. Um, me and Memsor got this on one of our particular shopping days. But the neck, there's no zipper in it. Do you see that the neck is the size of a wrist? The entire time I'm doing this show, I feel like somebody is choking me. <laughs> Don't you say it. But I feel like somebody's choking me. And I literally feel like it's going to take me at least three hours for my throat to loosen up to get back to normal. <clears throat> um, and it wasn't as expensive as you might think, although it wasn't cheap. $695.
and I can never wear it again. At least not on the show. Because we've already done it. Too but recognizable. Too recognizable. But what Memsor says to me, he's like, Madam, he's like, you can take the dress. You're very creative. He's like, cut it off and make yourself a turtleneck and a skirt with a sliver of skin in between. You see what I'm saying? So I was like, you're right. He said, and then after you wear it that way, madam, he says, then cut off the arms and make yourself a tank top. <laughs> before you know it, we're going into all of our giggles. He's like, before you know it, madam, you have a beautiful headband <laughs> or something. <laughs> just, just something. <laughs> That's the part of doing the show that um, does sicken me. There are some things, oh gosh, and I don't even like this, and we're already, you know, into the show and but um, I still I still like to keep an eye on a budget I like stuff that's unrecognizable like I can never wear this where am I gonna wear this you see me in the club there goes Wendy with that Balenciaga dress again yo <laughs> I can't wear it again and I don't know anybody in my personal life that is my size believe it or not <laughs> yeah you could take that for what it's worth <laughs> my mother and I had the same shady conversation with each other over vacation. She's like, Wendy, you know, I've got such beautiful clothing. And I have nobody to give it to you. <laughs> give it to me. She said, you, you can wear my stuff, but you don't want my stuff. You've got enough of your own stuff. I said, you're right. She's like, I, I wrap things up and I give to, you know, I mean, we donate clothes and do things like that. But the, the idea that, you know, there's not like that friend that you can just say, you're going to the wedding? Do you want to wear my pink Balenciaga? <laughs> <laughs> you know, nope. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Do you? Do you? Tristan. Um, really? Not really. What are you resolving to do? Uh, I didn't really make one this year. A sibling? A sibling? Mm-hmm. With my siblings? Oh, for a sibling for Max? Mm-hmm. Oh. If it's in the cards, God willing. You sent me a really cute picture. You like that one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really cute. He ate at uh, Mario Batali's restaurant for New Year's Eve. Who was that? Very good. Was Mario actually there? Not this time. <sighs> and boy, oh boy. We were very composed. <laughs> but very much. Have an extremely good time at the Hunter household. Me and my two girlfriends for one of my nights that I was home. Um, I shot some stuff for my app, including me playing basketball with the dog outside. I hate playing with him basketball because he always gets really aggressive. And then he bites into the uh, ball really hard and ends up popping it. So the game only lasts like five seconds. <laughs> I went in the basement, brought the camera with me, you know, looking for stuff. What else did I do? Nothing. I didn't go to the mall once. I ate pretty good food. We mostly went out to eat, you know, we're ordered in. Oh my gosh, look what Marilyn got me. Marilyn is my lighting lady. Marilyn, I didn't see you today. I don't know whether you watched the after show. But these Wonder Woman stamps officially from the United States Post Office are everything. Unfortunately, they're only 16. So now I've got to choose properly who, um... You're not going to save them? I should, right? I think it's because if it's a... I think it's like the 75th. Is it a collector's edition? I shouldn't use... I'm not supposed to use them? Yeah, it's an anniversary for Wonder Woman, so I would, I would not use them. Well, 
Time. Oh, Tristan, you saved me. You're right. Because if the bottom falls out, I could probably sell these. <laughs> I mean, I don't, <laughs> Sorry. I don't collect stuff for the purpose of selling it because I try to work every day so the bottom doesn't fall out. But if the bottom ever fell out, thank you, Marilyn, <laughs> for adding to my parachute. I just finished ordering caviar. I got a really nice... No, I like caviar, all right? But <clears throat> somebody around here found out that I really do like caviar and that I carry around my spoon. I don't think I've ever had caviar. You haven't? Mm -mm. Well, you're not going to have any of mine, honey. <laughs> I am not wasting mine. I, just, mm -mm. I got a very, very generous <laughs> gift card. And, and Jackie is uh, mm -hmm. ordering right now as we speak. And I eat it with a spoon. You know what's so crazy? <laughs> You've never had caviar? Mm -mm. You would love it. Here's the thing. I love it. And my mother and father love it. Um, Kevin and Kevin don't care. So whenever it, whenever it does you know, happen across me, I never have to share it. And here's how weird I am. And then I'm going to ask you to leave. I don't want you to make fun of me. <laughs> okay. My wallet. A velvet case. And a mother of pearl caviar spoon. Very nice. Because you never know when you never know when the party's gonna happen and you just wanna be ready. <laughs> and you don't <laughs> This is not planned. You don't eat caviar with um, metal. No? No, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It taints the flavor. The mother of pearl. So I, I carry my spoon just in case I happen upon a party and have to um, partake. <laughs> That's a real fat ass, you know? <laughs> Person carries around their own spoon and their own hot sauce. Always you can, ready. You can lose as much weight as you want, fat so, but you will always be a fat so, fat so. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what right now. I'm gonna feel good though. I've got all these foot massagers from the show. This is this year's. The one we gave away like three years ago is under my desk. I use it all the time. And then we got the back massager. I love home, home medic stuff. Then. My friend Millie sent me all my favorite stuff. Robin did a good job on the wig today. I like the wig. Oh gosh, the turtleneck. I can't wear a turtleneck for another five years. <laughs> <coughs> oh. <sighs> so, Vivica was good, wasn't she? Very good. Yeah. She always is. Yeah. Good talker. She looked real great. And she doesn't mind uh, wearing her heart on her sleeve. Mm -hmm. Love of her life. Mm. All these years later. Good thing her lip gloss was popping, though. That's why, you know, when you leave the house, honey, if you got an ex out there any place, you got to make sure your A game is on because you never know when you're going to see that person. She had on the right outfit, leather pants, the whole bit when she ran into 50. So who comes tomorrow? Dr. Oz. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I saw a really good Dr. Oz the other day. They were talking about um, plant-based food. Now, tomorrow he's supposed to be talking to us about eat, you know, eating healthy for the year. I don't know what that means. This is like the first year that... I wish I could eat unhealthy and gain five pounds. How about that? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't have a resolution like that. Weight loss, exercise, blah, 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 blah. Naomi Campbell on Thursday. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Who comes on Friday? 
Friday is, we have a TV, winter TV preview. Do you think we can get some Ask Wendy's? They submit them. All right, well, you will. We had some before the break, but then they were holiday themes, so now we need some maybe New Year ones. Well, no, if everybody's focusing on Mariah, then nobody's focusing on Ask Wendy's. Exactly. Now, I'm not doing Ask Wendy about Mariah. That is what it was. <laughs> and I said what, you what I say. said. <laughs> yeah, can we please move on with our lives? No, if there's um, a situation going on in your life and you'd like me to, um, you know, be part of your Fave Five, because everybody has themselves and maybe three other people that they, you know, count on as, you know, advice. And, and you know, I'm there in the mix. If you want some help, wendyshow.com. You ask, and I'll sell it. <laughs> Trouble is back in town, and she goes by the name of Wendy. I love you for watching the after show. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Willie, even Memsor asked me. You know, so Memsor has his uh, dress selection out, of which every single one of them was wonderful. I had no idea what I was going to wear. Willie. That dress that we got, the suede one years ago, yeah. fits. <laughs> Do you remember how it was? Yes. What a difference 50 pounds makes in two years. Mm -hmm. I'll wear it for you another time. But this is a really beautiful dress. The problem is. Get how we look about. The makeup looked really good today. You know, I'm not a risk taker. <laughs> Don't hold your hands up too oh, no. too high because they're, they're they're clocking your jewelry. Huh? Yes, they are. Who's clocking my jewelry? They, them. What are they saying? They, well, somebody just pointed out you're a man of distinction with David Yerman. One more, just straight on. <laughs> She'll never want to act right. <laughs> so then he goes, he puts out the three dresses. I couldn't decide which one to wear, so I chose this one. They were all spectacular. It's a DVF. He goes to me, but madam, you know, it's only made of, you know, a, a bit of tissue. It's going to be cold out there. And here I go, being brave. I'll suffer. Joni, I'm sorry for saying that. Like, literally, this is a piece of flutter. This dress is a piece of flutter. It's, yes, it's the most spectacular dress, though, but it's just very thin, and I'm very cold. Very cold. I wanted to have a word with Robin. Wig talk. Hopefully she's around. If not, then the after show is going to be shorter than I expected. You gotta go. Okay, I got you. Well, I know, I know. I have to shoot um, hot topics. A hot cash. topics for cash. So I have to go. Thank you, Joni. Have a nice day. Oh God. <laughs> Don't touch. I'm not judging. No, judging. I love it. No, you were. We had a long oh. night. It was my 21st. I, no, I'm talking to him though, madam. It's not all about you all the time. <laughs> she said it is though. That's what we did. No, your friend. I. Oh, you missed his split. I did it. Can you do another one? Yeah. You want me to? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Webb. Can you hold this um stuff? Just so can... I don't know about the stuff. Yeah. But I want no, to... I don't know what I mean. Oh, Wait, no. Get, get this off. Get this off. Do it. Oh. Yeah. With his, Lord, with his crushed velvet Louboutins, <laughs> my people, and and you know I don't hug. I heard what you said. I tried to ignore you. Okay, but <laughs> but, but have a nice day. <laughs> I only hug under duress. You don't even hug me. What the beautiful is going on? I'm Darlene. And your name is Darlene. 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 Hi. I'm a Houstonian. Oh, I love you so much. Oh my gosh! Mama. Darlene, and you're from Houston? From I was Kingsville. born in Houston, but I live in Kingsville, Kingsville. south of Houston. Houston. Yeah. Way down in Texas. Down by Mexico. 
Down by Mexico. Yeah, she goes down by Mexico. <laughs> about an hour north. Well, look, do awesome you mind lady. me asking how? 80? 80, gonna be 81. 80, gonna be 81. You're my, my mom's 81. Yeah, okay. I get it. So you'll be able to grow up and be like that. Yeah, that's right. That, you. Well, you right? I'm happy to. I'm happy for the bone structure. We're so lucky, <laughs> right? You got yeah. bone structure and good hair. <laughs> yes. yes. Her yes. hair, your hair, um, Darlene, looks like. Remember the Oompa Loompas? Yes. <laughs> yes. That beautiful he those yeah, that, wigs that they wore. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but that's not a wig I can no, say. No, no, it's my hair. Hair. I got to go change. I we love having her get around. Comfortable. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, no. I. I'm still working. She's I'm the going. second art assistant this week for us, Wendy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She's on She's on the clock. Well, we love Michael Lee. He's very, very creative. Well, we I can only imagine that he got it from you, darling. Got it all from Thank me. You. All right. Amen. I just finished saying I don't hug. <laughs> but you know what? That's family. That's Darlene, mother of Michael Lee, who is the king of all decoration around here. Oh, God. All right. Well, if she's not in here... Thank you, Eden. Thank when does, um, what, now, what, what is going on um, with the, uh, look, um, the suede dress I was telling you about, it's so beautiful. It actually fits, and then this was my other choice, but I chose this one today, but I have these for later. Wig. No, 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 put that down, Wiglet. No, no, mm -mm. don't let them see that. This is what I wanted to speak to you about. Yeah. Um, the wig that I wore on the after show that you made for me. Mm -hmm. Tristan, you'll show the picture. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were saying Thursday. it was very spectacular. Yeah, yeah. It so reminded me, first of all, such a throwback to the 80s. I loved, loved, loved. Was it like the flip out? No, the one that you just, that, my new obsession that I took home this weekend. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no, I just want to give you um, credit that, for um, doing what that. What is it called? Fantasy? I call her fantasy. Mm -hmm. Because it's the hair that I always fantasized about. This would be the perfect wig. You don't have to comb it. You don't have to do anything but shake it and go. Mm -hmm. It looks great on the beach. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Yep. It just looks great. <laughs> A lot of people were saying, why don't I wear her on the show? And what they don't understand is... It is, you know, that's a different experience. You know, we have similar tastes with messy hair. Um, like the, the undone, done look um, show, it doesn't translate well. So when she comes out and she says, here, Wendy, and the lights are behind her and it's frizz all over the place, in person it looks perfect. Yeah. On the show, lights, camera, action, it's a different situation. Perfectly imperfect. Yes. In person. Yes. Yeah. On um, the show, you guys are going to say fire her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why there, there, there are two different um, sides of wearing wigs, and Robin totally gets that. Um, and the two different sides are they're wigs for TV that have to have a lot of hairspray, mm -hmm. and they really, like, Robin doesn't like it. Did you see me during the, um, the kick tabletop demo? I was... <laughs> I cringed. Well. But, okay, but here's the thing. That's a... That's right. Yes. yes. See? <laughs> this, now this is the real Wait, me. Okay. The show is over. That um, product is perfect because that's that spray that you put in that gives it that perfect beachy feel. Mm -hmm. Like that sea salt. Yes. Uh, beach feel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just not for show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else about wig talk? I actually, I had more to say to you, but now I'm getting antsy. Right. I'm going to put on... Um, fantasy. I'm going to keep my makeup on and I'm going to throw on my street clothes mm -hmm. and jump out the window <laughs> to go to the park to do Hot Topics, Hot Topics for Cash. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I'm recording something for my app. Separate from the show for my app. Guess where I'm going? I'm going in the hole. <laughs> And I've got the perfect, perfect disguise. And unfortunately, it's not the Janet Jackson poncho. You know why? Because I already showed it to you guys. So therefore, I don't, I don't know. I'm, to me, doing capers and making jokes and cutting it up is all a part of, of having this show. I don't take anything too seriously. And when I say a disguise, I do mean a disguise. Like, I want to enjoy my subway experience. I haven't been in the subway since 1988. I want to see what's all going on down there. I want to be able to buy a Metro card. How much is a Metro card now? Two seventy-five. Two Okay, $2.75. So I have to make change. And <laughs> no I want change, just dollar bills or credit card. Just 
Okay. They make you pay a dollar if you get a new card. So you not only have to pay the fare, but a dollar for the card. Well, how far can I ride for $2.75? As far as, far as you want. As you want to go. Are, Are you serious? You can't keep hopping around. The best, the best, uh... What? Deal in town. <laughs> that is a good deal. <laughs> that, that is a good deal. We love a sale. <laughs> what? <laughs> And the, uh, you know, I just want to go in there. Like, I don't want to take selfies. I don't want to do how you're doing. I don't even want to talk. Don't touch the pole. <laughs> well, no, I have all my wipes. Like, okay. I'm, I'm prepared. Don't, don't touch, touch the pole. pole. <laughs> don't touch and the pole. Uh, <laughs> and, and only these three know what my ultimate disguise is. I might be able to pull it off as long as I don't talk, right? And they don't I see Chuck. So. Oh, well. It, I mean, you know, if people I mean, see Chuck, they're the going to be like. The man in the suit, the perfectly groomed hair and. Maybe he does need to change. You know what, Chuck? Put on your sweatsuit. Chuck, do you have um, a hat or something? I mean, I mean, don't blow my disguise, Chuck. Like, they're going to see you and they're going to know. All right, and but stand way over there. I'll be fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm going to have Chuck stand all the way on the other side. And, oh, I'll have to do something about that pesky camera crew, won't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, them. Right? Oh, oh my them. God. Oh, them. Yeah. It's just a slight interruption. That's okay. No, I'm just going to be sitting there like this. <laughs> and when you see my disguise, you'll never see it again. But it's a pretty good one, isn't it? It's going to be empty today. Uh -huh. There's not going to be anybody on the train? No. <laughs> uh -uh, you dead. I don't want to go in the hole if people aren't going to be there. But do you you'll, want them you'll, you'll to be able to get a you? seat. Do you want them to, to then eventually know it's you? I don't, it doesn't matter. I mean, I prefer not, I want the full experience. Like, I want to see people flashing. You know, I watch the news, I see what goes on down there. Okay. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Don't touch the pole. Uh, I don't, well, I don't mind touching the pole. Uh, you know, I think if I sit down, Touch the seat. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wear double double leggings and double underwear so nothing seeps in. <laughs> You're taking your Purell, man. No, I'm not taking Purell, I'm taking the whites so I get the friction. <laughs> okay, I, I want friction. Now. Wipe the seat down. <laughs> No, I can't act all freaky, but I need these earrings to go along with my costume. I'm sure. planning a full... Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, look, uh, that's it for the after show. I mean, I wish that I could say more to you, but I don't have more to say. I bought a hot water heater over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You know, when you're a homeowner, or even when you're not a homeowner, just if you live someplace, then you know something is always breaking. So, you know, I'm not much of a basement dweller. I'm not going down there. It reminds me too much of the 70s where they used to sequester kids and, you know, leftover company and stuff. I'm just, you know, but so my boy was in the basement and calls me up on the cell phone from down there and he says, um, there's water. And I went down there and uh, there was a situation Nothing that I couldn't handle, being the super mom that I am. <laughs> um, I called our plumber. They're 24 hours. We're very good customers to them. I don't know about you. You'd, you if, when you have a house, everybody needs to be on 24-hour notice. That way, you don't have to wait until 3 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the afternoon for your appointment. <laughs> that also says you're good to them. I'm good to them. Oh, yes. Because they don't have to answer that. No, I, I, I call them frequently because um, we work too hard to learn how to, you know, fully fix plumbing and all that mess. So I call them frequently. And it's nothing, not because there's anything necessarily wrong, but even when I have a question, in the words of my father, Wendy, one day you'll own a home. And when you do, just know the plumbing is the bones of the operation, not the electric, you know, not, it's the plumbing. And I'll be damned, he's right. Water damage is a hell of a thing. So I called the plumber, random time, and they showed up within the hour with the style number from our, we have another hot water heater, you know, and that's a good one. 
and um, new. And so I said, bring me the same one and take out the old one and don't leave it on the curb. <laughs> mm -mm. I just can't do that. The whole curb thing, like to me, the rule is at our house, if you're gonna do something, you gotta take the old away and don't leave it on my curb. Black people in the neighborhood with a mattress, a hot water <laughs> heater. <laughs> you know, I just can't, I just can't. There you go. But anyway, so yeah, so I purchased a new hot water heater and the situation was well in hand. God. Sometimes, I'm a domesticated demon. Sometimes people think all it is is the talk show. <laughs> and it's all so easy. By the way, how are we stepping our game giving out Louboutins? That, I mean, didn't, I was, that didn't come from this budget in here, did it? No. I was trying to, yeah, that was... Good! That's a luxury gift. Okay. We're moving on up. <laughs> I love you for watching the after show. Thank you for laughing with us and laughing at us. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. I made this myself. Yeah. You know, it's really weird. I wear a size 10 and a half in my own shoes. <laughs> <laughs> They're by design. So <laughs> if by chance you happen to have a bigger foot and you don't want to be always in a size 11 or size 12, you want to feel like the rest of the girls. Hey, you know, they're coming up on the elevator now. What, this elevator? Oh, yeah. You ready? Oh. One, <laughs> one, two, three. One more. I am. Um, did you see Suzanne's shoes though? I showed you them the other day, the lipstick and the thing. She really liked them too in her outfit as well. I really don't have time for an after show. You got a busy week, HSN. Very, very busy week. Please, HSN design meeting across town in about 25 minutes happening so soon I'm gonna have to wipe off yeah, my makeup yeah, yeah, yeah. in the car or not at all. I'll come get you. Oh my god. Oh it's it's a bloody oh <laughs> it's a bloody mess in here. They're coming there with you. Hey Chuck! Oh do you remember mom and dad's Aww, does it smell like um bad in here? Storks. Do you remember that? It should smell like everything bad. Smells floral. Capers. Mmm. I made a spread. I really don't have anything to say for an after show. Joni, thank you. You ready for the snow? So. Yeah. This is what I won't be doing, though. I won't be spending any extra time in a hotel that I can't spend at my own house, in my own bed. You know, once upon a time, I used to love staying in a hotel. And we used to be able to do it so easily. Young Kevin's portable. No dog. Well, now we have the dog. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the problem. So, you know, am I looking forward to staying in a hotel? Uh, <laughs> no. No, not for the purpose of the snow, because all I have to keep wondering is what's going on at home? What's going on at home? I'm talking about as far as the plowing and... The power. I don't, why do people buy so much food when there's going to be a storm? You know, I go, I get a few things. But if your power goes out, everything is wasted. All that good orange juice that you spent $6.99 for the jug, done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not really much of a long talker today. Okay. I promise I'll pay more attention Wednesday. on Wednesday. Right now, I'm so concentrating on the next step of my life, the next phase of stuff I have to do, and I'm going to be late to do it. But yeah, um, the HSN stuff, though, is available on pre-order, you know, if, if you care. And then I'll be there on once on Friday and once on Saturday. Once on Friday, twice on Saturday. Oh, that pin was all up in my ow head. All right.
watching. Oh, I love you for watching the after show, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Before you go, make some noise for DJ Pool. Close. Make some noise for our live sound guys back there. And help us down all the way First, I loved my shoes. Look, don't you love that heel? Nice and easy to walk with. Very nice, Willie. <laughs> and we were debating on whether I should wear a belt with this dress or not. We decided to go with no belt. You know, for an easier, breezier look. It's fine with no belt. Yeah. I feel very ladylike, you know, in this dress and the villawy sleeves and, and um, a dark brown uh, wig with a deep side part and a lot of hairspray. Oh gosh. Well, Swedish swish. <laughs> Really, people? <laughs> <laughs> just, just you know, you know. People are so persnickety. <laughs> Not that serious. <laughs> I like your shoes. Thank you very much. Are those waterproof? They are, yes. I treated myself to a new pair of boots and snow boots. Excuse me? Did you have to run that up the, fl the uh, flagpole before doing that? Cause no, because they were, everything was less than $200. Yep, because there's, a, there's an agreement with Margot and Tristan. It's if you spend what, $500 or more. More than $200. More, more than $200, you have to check with one another. On like something, not, not groceries, but like, you know. Yeah, like a new pair of snow boots. Exactly. Joni? Yes. What do you think about that rule? About the having to check in. Well, if you have a budget, then it makes sense. It eliminates a whole lot of argument. Like, yeah. Write the money guy. Yeah, Brandon. I like to spend it and try to get away with it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what he, that's what the argument. That's why I'm on an allowance. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah Suzanne manages all the. I'm on a tight ship. Suzanne pays the that bills. That check goes right in the kids' fund. <laughs> if it works for them, it works for me. Rudy what pants? <laughs> She's already got a naturally huge booty, and, and during Ask Wendy, was that Ask Wendy? No, we were just talking about hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Sound, Sound off. off. Sound off. Butt pads. Yeah. On occasion. On occasion. Let me see your butt for the after show. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a nice booty. It's natural. <laughs> but you want more. On occasion. Enhancements. <laughs> Special occasion. That's like me wearing a bra with, like, you know, stuffing my bra. <laughs> it's so funny. I love my people. There were so many people in the audience today from Dallas. I was really shocked. Um, I have a couple of, one interview, a Fortune magazine to do. Look at the guys. Look how fast they abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Look. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Have a good day. A well-oiled machine. Please Thanks, let the boss. heat be up loud. Bye, Brandon. Um, I'm telling Suzanne, I'm telling Suzanne that Brandon takes from the um, kids' fund. Oh my gosh! Hey, a gift. Hot sauce. Oh gosh. Now you know. It's from Robin. Robin! Yeah? Is this you, Robin, Robin? Yeah. Thank you, Robin, with a Y. You're welcome. Now you have packets. I know! <laughs> when we travel, you know, I always complain. We like, stopped at the gas station one of the last times so you can get some. Yeah! <laughs> People try to fool you with Tabasco sauce and stuff. We've talked about this before. Don't fool me with Tabasco. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Listen. Not for nothing. The way it was explained to me, I could have sworn that I was supposed to be doing an interview right now with Fortune magazine. But apparently, and it, it's like a three camera shoot. A three camera shoot. Here or? In, in here, in my hoarder's paradise. Yeah, it's like a big deal. So I'm putting all my stuff away. I'm thinking they're gonna be coming in here and knocking stuff, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ring down, ring down. <laughs> you film me, and I'm gonna film you. <laughs> Fortune.
magazine. Gonna ask me stuff about how I got here. Work, work, and more work. And more work. Do you know what this is? <laughs> it's, it's a piece of our old studio before they tore it down. They left this for me and Kev. It was a wall. It was a wall, yeah. On the, uh, the side walls of the uh, studio that he wrote on, what was it, 2011? 2011. Well, I could always bring it home and spank the dog with it. <laughs> this is good for the killer. I can't try it on, not today. Maybe you'll send a either. picture later. No, I'm not going to put it on later either. Memso and I are going shopping. Oh. I don't want to wear it there. I, there's a particular, you want to know where I'm going to wear it? In the hole. I'm working on something. Oh gosh. Yes, I'm working on something. Um, <clears throat> it was nice to see the style squad here today. Um, Tristan, I know what your assignment was and everybody's looking at you crazy now. Nope, well here's the thing. I do have some here. Okay. So we're gonna need some more though. All right. Now, was there a problem? We gave a really long, juicy... I know, it was a very long one and very... Entertaining! Entertaining and highly viewed. After show. Yep. But people spent more time... Talking about your Swedish Swiss Sw glassware. Swedish Swiss... Whatever. Tomato, tomato. I know they're two different places, but <laughs> crap. You talk all day long and with a million things going on in your mind. See how many times you say Swedish or Swiss or... You say Jersey when you mean New York or whatever. How many times do you call your how many times do you call your kids if you have children the wrong names? I guess you got it easy though. Why? You just gotta call one name. I, no. <laughs> you don't have to remember more That's than that. Exactly why. If he was a girl, his name would have been Kevin as well. <laughs> oh yes. Oh you're playing? I'm not and I spell it the same way too. I spell it the same way. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Takes a moment to thaw out after being out there. Well, here's the only Ask Wendy that we have, so. There's two. There's two, all right, the only two. Are these the only two that made sense? These are the two that passed my test, yes. Okay. And what is your criteria? It's a very long list. Well, how about <laughs> the same questions over and over? Because this one right here is, this wouldn't have passed mine, but I'll tell you. Um, Shana P. I'll get to the longer one first, but first this one. Shana P. Um, I need to know where Wendy got, oh, Shana P. says, um, I need to know where Wendy got her New Jersey charm necklace. Thanks for, uh, from another Jersey girl. I had it made. I had it made. <clears throat> I had it made after, first of all, necklaces, um, for your favorite state, they're available every place, and you don't have to pay a lot for them. You can get them in real gold, platinum, um, fake gold, whatever. Um, just Google it online. And um, I got one a few years ago and I had a little tiny diamond chip and it was, the whole thing was only like $85 for the necklace. You know, it came with a chain too. It was 14 karat gold. Little tiny di diamond chip in my region of Jersey, see? So like if you live in California, but you live, you know, way down here as opposed to way up here, and then they put the diamond down there. Really cute. <clears throat> you don't have to ask me that, Shana. Then what happened is um, I decided that I love my jersey necklace so much that I paid $85 for that I wanted to have a real one made and I wanted it to be a little bit bigger and I wanted it to be all diamond out. So our jeweler made it um, for me. That's where I got it. That's a silly question. I don't know what's on your list, Tristan. Okay. Uh, Damone H. writes, Hey Wendy, how you doing? I've been dating uh, this beyond great guy for over a year. I love him. Um, I have, I haven't yet, wait, wait. I love him, which I haven't yet told him. We recently moved in together, but there's one issue. He's really good friends with his ex. It frustrates me because he's always around and spends hours on the phone. Uh, talking on the phone together. 
do I need to say something or just let them continue hanging out? Damone, okay, so Damone is a guy and still good friends with his ex, this boyfriend that you've been seeing for over a year. You now live with a boyfriend and you love him. Damone, this entire um, lifestyle that you're living, not the gay lifestyle, but the <laughs> putting the cart before the horse lifestyle. I wouldn't have moved in with him if he was friends with the ex like that. I mean, I would have gotten to the bottom of it. You know, some people are mature enough that they can deal with having, you know, a partner or, or you know, whatnot, friends with the ex. I'm not one of those people. Um, and moving in together, hmm, why didn't you tell him you loved him before you did that? What if that is a deal breaker? That's a deal breaker for a lot of people, you know? A lot of people, they don't, you know, I love you, not so, you know, not so, I, I like you. And it takes a lot of people longer, longer to fall in love than others. Um, you have a few things to do. Number one, <clears throat> let him know that you love him. Number two, since you're frustrated at the amount of hours that he spends talking on the phone and being with his ex, you need to step to him and ask him why and tell him you don't like it and then let the chips fall where they may after that. He might be get out, in which case now you've got a whole legal thing because now you're sharing an apartment together. You're just cautionary tale, not to just demone, but you all think before you commit such a permanent thing like moving in with somebody or having a baby with somebody or getting married to somebody. You have to think. Oh. That was a good one. Good answer. You all, come one, come all with your problems. And please, not problems having to do with, I got a problem, Wendy, because your office is a mess or, or whatnot. <laughs> not, not problems with me. You always have a problem. Always have a problem. Always have a problem. Come on, girl, let's dance. <laughs> they don't want no problems. <laughs> a lot of you all are so in my head, you guessed exactly what I'm going to do with this. I am going to fill it up with gum. But not chewed gum. I want to get the gumballs that match something. I don't know, like the little tiny gumballs and just drop them in. Then I said, no, I'm not going to do that because then, you know, the head will be clear while the body will be filled in. So I'm not sure, but it's here and you are my people. Because yes, I am intending on filling it up with gum or maybe nothing. I'm not sure. <laughs> Here's my shopping partner. Hola. Hi. Hi. Just came to say hi. No, continue. Oh, you want my angel wings? <laughs> <laughs> a little shimmy. So after after my interview, I'm gonna um, take my makeup off and then we'll be on our way. Okay. Okay. Shopping with Madam. He's he's taking me shopping. What fun? <laughs> on the shelf. Your favorite time exactly. You're gonna... Do we get none? We can order it in. Yes. Listen, with that English accent and that attitude, I tell you, when we walk in the boutiques, the seas part. I don't have to say one word. I love it. I love you too for watching the after show, and I'll see you next time. Don't be so crit. Never mind. Keep the criticism coming, because I will. Bye. <laughs> hmm? You know what? And you know that this is only my preliminary wash off. I do it here, you know. Sometimes I'll take a shower in here, but generally speaking, I just like to just get it off, get back to Jersey, and then I formally continue. But I love a good makeup remover. I don't like it with a lot of oil. The oil falls in my eyeballs. This is Lancome. And you know what? I'm over cotton balls. They break off on my um, eyelashes, and then I'm blinking all day trying to chase hair away. So I love the, you know what I find too? I only use one to wipe it all off. Just just one. I use both sides. A squirt of this. Done. Mm. Yes, I'm playing with a dark eyebrow. I'm really enjoying it. The great thing about blading is that they fade. It's not a tattoo. Temporary. If I want to go back to dyeing them, 
to the color of, uh, you know, nothing, I can do that as well. But right now, I like them dark and I'm having fun and it's temporary. Tristan. <laughs> I called you earlier. Youth corridor. Anything that says youth, I'm in. <laughs> I am in, honey. I am in the race. Yes. It's not about lying about your age. It's about being the best you can be for your age, if you know what I'm saying. And I think you do. Huh. Little messy wig. Got my uniform on. It's cold out there today. Out where? Outside or in the studio? Both. You don't know cold, Tristan, until you put on a flimsy dress <laughs> <laughs> and have to sit in it for an hour. And the funny thing is, and Mike um, and Charles, they hold my heating pads, you know. They, you know, the, the ones you put in your hands during commercial break. Oh, I'm socializing in the audience, all right. But I'm socializing with a pad in each hand. And then I'll, I'll put one, like, at the top of my bra just to, you know, warm my body. And sometimes when I'm doing interview, I will sit, you know, on one on the top of my thigh. I wonder why I'm always sniffling and... And... and Guess what I used today? A caviar spoon? <laughs> I went online and I looked. The spoons are, they seem like they're necessary. Yeah. They sell them. Uh, How much was it? I think it was like $16, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Mine was a gift um, from my husband. But um, so I get home yesterday and my shipment was there. That was fast. I know. Well, I ordered several tins. I'm not being a big shot. I was given a very generous gift card for the holidays. And, um... Yeah, they are expensive. For the, the, the caviar uh, place, you know the place. And uh, I didn't feel like going there because I don't know anybody who loves caviar the way I do. So what am I gonna do? Go there by myself and sit and drink champagne as a single woman? Yes, I would have, yes. You know, because that's where you catch the big fish. <laughs> you know, like I'm tired of these rappers. Let me go meet a man who drinks champagne and eats caviar. Mm. It was so good. I'm so thankful for this job. <laughs> no, I really am. A thoughtful gift. I have several thoughtful gifts, thank you. Morel, my makeup artist, gave me a new perch for my lucky butterfly, I mean my lucky flower ring. See, and I'm gonna put it like that. It's Swarovski, it's sweet, right? I think this is so pretty, this is so pretty. I kinda wanna take a picture of that and then frame the picture. Because the ring really does represent the show. Kinda, sorta, Tristan, you know what I'm saying? You've worn it every day. Every day since the first day of the six week sneak peek, I have two of them. One is real, and one is the copy. Because I just feel like I'm not superstitious, but I do believe that if I don't wear that ring, we're out of here. So I wear it. <laughs> okay, so um, first, um, I want to thank my friends. Um, Burberry. Thank you for the scarves for me and my family for the holidays. I want to thank Donatella Versace. Thank you so much for this. I, Donatella, I love a coffee table book. And she signed it. And it's nothing but beautiful, beautiful pictures of uh, beautiful people. <laughs> doing beautiful things. I love beautifulness and I love a coffee table book. So I'm gonna take this home. Thank you, Donatella. I would like to thank my Wendy watcher, Patrick, for being so thoughtful 
and saying such kind things in your handwritten note. His name is Patrick uh, Zapata and he lives here in New York and it starts with how you doing. He goes, you're the greatest. Um, he says, I had the honor of being your co-host several times and you're always bringing it. You know, thank you for brightening my day, blah, blah, blah. He goes on and so forth. Then he goes, this is the thoughtful part. I collect stuff. There are particular things that I collect, um, like I love Costa Boda. So now here he goes. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love Costa Boda. My mother collected it um, in Jersey. Um, she started me off with my collection as a grown woman, and I've got lots of pieces at home, and so much so that I now have it here. Isn't this cute? It's just really cute Swiss glasswork. Is this the most girly cute thing you've ever seen? And look at the lips that go along with the pink lipstick. I just love it, love it, love it. Even several years ago, one of my Wendy watchers who picked up that I do love Costa Boda made me a Costa Boda-esque plate and told me in her note, it's not Costa Boda. I hand painted it myself. It's Costa Boda-esque. I love it. I love it. Just, just fun stuff. So now here goes Patrick, right? So Patrick says to me in his note, you know, it's not the most expensive stuff, but it certainly is not cheap. And certainly to, to give as a gift to a stranger, I'm a stranger to you, Patrick. I appreciate you going into your savings and buying me this. Um, he said, the sassy woman with the hands on her hip motif is very reminiscent of you, Wendy. I hope you enjoy it. Look, it's a sassy woman with her hands on her hips. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Should I leave it here or should I take it home and put it in my room? I don't call it a mom cave anymore because uh, it seems like something that you say when kids are younger. Now I just call it the leave me alone room. <laughs> it's not a bedroom, it's my place. And it's, okay, maybe it's a more sophisticated version of this mess because there's a whole lot going on in there and everything is glittery and sparkly. I told you nobody goes in there except the dog. He comes in and I say, get out. I think I'm gonna put this in my room at home. My room, not the our room. Thank you, Patrick, it's so thoughtful. I think I'm gonna leave it here for a moment though. I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with it. It's just so beautiful. It really does belong in. You know what I think? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Ha, ha, hm. watch this. I'm working on a project. Patrick, it'll remain here in my office and in the coming weeks, you're going to see it transform into something new. Hm. I'm creative. Okay, wait for it. I've got a big reveal, but for, oh. First, let me move my Wendy coat that you fashion with your Adidas. And you really do have a look going on. This is how I come to work. I don't know how you roll. This is how I roll. Ew. Do you want me to model for you? Okay, I will. Like I said, furrier closures and the most soft, supple faux fur ever. Feel it, Tristan. Mm -hmm. nice. Right? Okay. You put this on, right? You can pop the collar. There's stiffening in the, you know, a little wire underneath, you know, to keep it stiff so you look cool. Pop your collar and go on about your business. You can wear it with anything. However, my favorite way of fashioning it is with Adidas. <clears throat> Speaking of Adidas, Get ready, wait for it, wait for it. Tristan, do you know what I'm about to do? <laughs> yep. Okay, it's a pretty big deal, Tristan. When I got to work this, uh, this morning, I was over the moon, over the moon. 
Make sure you show Janet's picture with this, okay? Now, can you show Janet? Yep. All right. And now, Wendy. <laughs> it's so good. The audience hates it. This is so good. Look, okay, I don't want to try it on for you. It's very heavy. I don't feel like, you know, going over my wig and stuff with it. But look, you put your hands in the pockets right here in the front, right? And Janet, who's already had her baby, but I, look, it opens all the way on the sides. So you definitely have to wear clothes underneath. And there are sleeves. You know, it's just one big, and a good hood that fits really close to your face. And I know exactly where I'm going to wear it. It's not on the show. Do you know where I'm gonna wear it? I'm gonna go undercover someplace. I can't talk to you about it right now, but I'm working on something, man. And I'm gonna wear this. With leggings. Look, you see the detail in the back? Just a little something, something. Suzanne thinks it's the worst thing she's ever seen in her life. My co-host don't quite get it. I guess the whole idea of a poncho and that frumpy thing. But, you know, it comes a time in every woman's life, you feel a little bloated. And yeah, I just want to throw something on and go. And it's not about showing off your figure. Oh, look who's talking. Hey. Um, thank you for that. And in conclusion, I would like to ask Tristan, does he have any ask Wendy's? Because if he doesn't, then Mon uh, Monday. Oh? Monday. Oh? Hmm. I was ready with my part of the agreement. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, who did we talk to? Naomi Campbell yesterday and... Carrie Keegan today. Two nice girls. Had a good time. Listen, I love you for watching. I have to go home. I'll see you next time on the after show. Oh, excuse me. Keep the Ask Wendy's coming. And I don't have anything to donate to this conversation on Monday other than Ask Wendy Answers. So you don't mess up. And Tristan, you don't mess up. I got, I got, I got a few. Good. Pull some good ones. Yeah. Need some more. Have a good weekend. Love you for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>